Steffi comes unblued after Sheila walks free, and Taylor learns the truth. At the court hearing, Steffi and Finn watch Sheila walk out the door with a sly smile on her face and Steffi screams, no. They turn on the judge, who explains that if they won't testify against her there's no other physical evidence linking her to the crime scene. There are no other witnesses, just the two of them, who refuse to press charges. With no other claims being brought forth he has no other choice. Sheila's lawyer thanks the judge as Finn and Steffi continue to protest. The judge intones, that's all for today. They walk out in disgust. A knock comes on the judge's door it's Bill. At Forrester, Taylor is wrapping up a call with a client when Eric comes in. She apologizes for using the office and explains her lunch with Brooke went longer than expected. Eric's delighted to hear it went well. Taylor crows that it's a good day all around since Sheila is going back to prison where she belongs. All thanks to Steffi and Finn. Eric gets up to speed on the hearing and Taylor says it will be poetic justice that Finn and Steffi will be the ones to bring her down. We don't have to worry about her ever again. At the jail, the guard tells Sheila, who is back in street clothes, that it won't be long now until she's out. Mike Guthrie is brought in to see her. He seems irked that she's going free when he's stuck in that place and can't get out. He muses that at least he'll have their memories to keep him company in there. Mike congratulates her on getting Bill Spencer in her corner. It was genius. He tells her it would mean a lot if she would visit. Sheila will try. Mike will be there, loving her always. He asks for a kiss and purses his lips. Sheila grabs his face, moves close, and slaps him. You bad boy. She thanks him for everything before leaving. Mike gushes, I love you, Sheila. I'll wait a lifetime for you. In the court hearing room, Judge McMullen thanks Bill for the two weeks on the Stella Maris. Bill tells him he can count on his continued generosity, as I'm sure I can count on yours. McMullen will have his wife call and set up a dinner. Bill grins, sounds good. He tells the judge, thanks again for today. McMullen shrugs that with the evidence he provided, what other choice did he have? They shake hands. The judge has to leave, but allows Bill to stay in the room to make a phone call. At Forrester, Taylor tells Eric she can't wait to get back to Steffi and Finn's to get the official word on Sheila. In the hearing room, Bill concludes his phone call when Steffi and Finn burst back in. Steffi fumes as she knows Bill was behind the Mike Guthrie evidence of him forcing Sheila out of jail. Finn gops, you own the judge. Bill tells them they did the right thing not testifying. Steffi can't believe the lengths he's going to. Is Sheila blackmailing you? Bill warns them not to fight this or they'll lose. More importantly, Taylor will lose. Steffi exclaims that Sheila is using him. She implores him to reconsider if Sheila is free, his granddaughters are not safe. Bill gives his word that they'll have nothing to fear from Sheila. Steffi growls, your word? She screams, I hate you, Bill. I am never going to forgive you for this. Never. Do you hear me? Bill exits and Finn holds Steffi, who is absolutely vibrating. Mike is put back in his jail cell and the guard tells him he'll be there for a long time. Mike says he may not have his freedom, but he will always have his memories of that very special lady. He flashes through old times with Sheila. A triumphant Sheila walks through the door of Bill's house with him and turns to say, I don't know how I'm ever going to thank you. You really came through for me, Bill. He tells her she's worth it. Sheila gushes about being seen and being out of that hellhole. She marvels that his plan worked. You are one hell of a man, Bill Spencer. At the cliff house, Steffi Ranson paces as she and Finn go over Sheila going free. She finds what Bill has done unthinkable and apologizes for putting Finn in this position. He assures her that her problems are his problems. Finn feels they made the right choice but wonders how they'll explain not testifying especially to Taylor. Just then, Taylor bursts in and enthuses, how does it feel to know that because of you, Sheila will spend the rest of her life behind bars? At Bill's place, Sheila marvels, I'm free. I'm free. It's all possible because of him she's so grateful and so lucky. You inspire me, watching you work. She gushes about his blackmailing and manipulation. 
Villain tones, I put a lot on the line for you. Sheila narrows her eyes, nods, and says, I'm aware. Bill needs to know he'll never regret it. That you will never let me down. Sheila moves in close and purrs, I will always be your partner. For life. They kiss. At the cliff house, Steffi tells Taylor there's something she needs to know. Finn warns this doesn't have the ending she was expecting. Steffi declares, she's free. All the charges have been dropped. Taylor is scandalized. Steffi informs her mother that she and Finn never pressed charges. Taylor doesn't understand. Tell me what's going on. Why isn't Sheila in prison right now? Steffi explains that Bill told them if they testified against Sheila, he'd let it be known that he was shot too. By you, Mom. By you. Taylor Reels. Please subscribe our channel for more update news.